Hello people, my name is Dennis and today I'm going to show you how to build my asset database so uh, assuming people looking for this information probably have knowledge of what this is about so um, this is a database, a collection of uh, fixed assets so this is how it's gonna look like we're gonna have our number which is ID number one two assets name acquire date useful life original cost salvage accumulation depreciation depreciation expense and depreciation method so yeah this is how um, we, um, the information is going to be collected like this and this will be the method um, in this case we're gonna use a straight line method that is the simple one um, based on what the equipment is for and we have a couple of methods double digit something something and we have some some of the year digit and we have markers um I'm um we're not gonna get into this into this this time but I have information about them and we can look at them later and after that after you have put the information into your database is going to give you something you can print out and look so in this case we are in our we will be in our face asset face asset list so my bad we are just going to be listing the assets that we have in our company or personal belonging and just look at them in kind of a structure form so this is what um, a database will look like and so we gotta just do a table like this then we're gonna do a report like this so I already have this blank desktop database name my assets let's go ahead and create this and start building this database and we are here on a blank new table let's go to design name this my assets table oh what am I okay and if you go back to the presentation as you can see this number we have it that's the first turn and you can see a key next to it that means we can just leave it like that and it will keep adding the number of equipment we have so we're gonna say equipment ID here and say assets name acquired date You see life original cost savage cost acute
Aqui. Deep. Accumulation, depreciation, and depreciation expense. We're not going to put a value into that, but you can put the account number for accumulation, depreciation, and this uh, depreciation expense here so that you can go ahead and record it into those account and finally depreciation method and let's go ahead and format this so that it does what we want the useful life is going to be a number data type original cost is a currency salvage is a currency depreciation we will leave that one for now and this is going to be a look up value I want to type the values so in this case we're gonna be building one using um straight line depreciation so we can we can add the um this the double digits and the sum of the year digits and the other markers and just finish this for now and um let's 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 ask let's add another field asset due date and let's name here date now and we're gonna come back later and program this but for now let's save and also let's add let's um Let's add another field and name the expense. Per year. Make this a calculated field and take the original cost minus salvage cost divided by the use for life. Let's go ahead and put brackets on this once and and this one. Let's format this to medium. Let's go ahead and just delay this one. And um save and close now let's create the report let's 
go back and see this is how the report looks like and they are adding the number of equipment and the original cost so far we have 500 in our original cost of our assets so we can and like I was telling this is the account number for uh, depreciation accounts this is this is it this account number and so let's go back and create bring this right here go to our range stock